Hi, I'm Bob D'Amico from Vitrek, and today we're going to be talking about the Vitrek PA900 series power analyzers. Let's take a more detailed peek at the PA900 series unit, focusing on the user interface and a variety of screens, all easily accessible and super easy to configure. This is the PA900, and we're going to go over some detailed screens so you can see the flexibility and ease of setup of the unit. I'm going to start with my system configuration key and this gives you at the top a summary of all the cards that are inserted in the unit and once that is all set that is uh, established and set up all the settings that we're talking that we're going to be talking about can be saved in a bunch of different locations to recall them for future use also have the ability to change my system preferences which change the way the data is, look, is looked at and presented to the user. I can come in and also change my interfaces. Uh, the PA900 has a variety of interfaces, comes standard with RS-232, USB, and LAN or Ethernet. GPIB is an option. If you choose the GPIB option, all three of the other interfaces disappear. I can set my clock and I can also do some zeroing out of my test leads if I need to. Next button I'm going to talk about is the actual channel setup. As you can see, there are uh, listed are the channels that are installed in the back of the unit and simply by toggling I can turn the channels on and off. I can scale the channels if I decide to do that and I can also auto range the channels. As far as my measurements go, there are different ways, different filtering techniques that I can use to filter my data. I can choose to look at, for example, 50 or 60 hertz, which is my mains power coming out of the wall. We also have settings for avionics instruments, uh, voltage only, current only, and so on. Uh, my bandwidth can be determined, I can filter out how much of my band I want to be able to look at. My harmonics can be dialed in anywhere from 50 to 100 all the way up to 500 harmonics. My data I can decide if I want to look at AC and DC data simultaneously, AC data only or DC data. My response time is how fast the unit is actually sampling and presenting the data. In most cases, the faster you sample, the, um, the accuracy suffers just a little bit. The slowest reading is going to give you your most accurate readings. We even have the amount of digits that are presented as a, a, a complete reading, and you'll see this on one of the screens I'll be talking about in just a minute. I can change my wiring scheme. I can do single phase uh, on all four channels. I can do a combination of three phase three wire, three phase four wire. If I have a situation where I, have, I may have a three phase motor I need to monitor. And finally, um, using our VPAs or virtual power analyzers, we have the ability to monitor efficiency. So for example, let's say I'm using two channels and I have a DC to DC converter. I will assign one of my virtual power analyzers to the input channel. I'll assign one of the other channels to the output. Then I can come in and I will, again, I will show you where the efficiency shows up. But using that efficiency button gives you the ability to uh, monitor different points, however many points that you have, and you can, you can measure efficiency at different points in a complete system. Thanks for watching our videos. If you require further information, please contact Biketrek.com or click on the link you see here below.